let's give our choir a big round of applause to them. I was going to ask our Baltimore County delegate if he'd like to join us on the podium. We're gathered this evening to acknowledge the death of 304 individuals in our city through violence. What we know is that one life lost in the city is one life too many. And while we are trending downward, if you are a family member, a friend, a daughter, a sister, a mother, or a father, or one who's lost their life to violence, that doesn't mean anything. Because your heart is heavy and your pain is one of suffering. And so we acknowledge that we have a violence problem in our city that there are too many guns on the streets of our city. And while there are those who were critical of this particular year of gun buyback, I can tell you that we took over 1,500 guns off the streets of our city. And if one, thank you. Some of those guns were stolen, sawed off shotguns, and if one of those guns would have killed one person in the city, I don't know that you could have put a value on that person's life. And so I am thankful to our police department and to our finance department and everyone who worked to make sure that that was done in decency and in order. What we're asking is those who are riveting our streets with guns to put the guns down. We're asking those who are creating violence and unrest in our city to acknowledge that this is not the way. Because we know that with the work that is being done by so many, that we can change our city and move it forward. When we go out to neighborhoods and communities and listen, Erica, to the cries of the individuals in our city who ask us to bring about the change, and we come back to those neighborhoods and communities with units to help people with jobs. There are no excuses for standing on our corners and selling drugs and succumbing to that way of life, because there is a way out, and we can provide that. We now have mobile units moving throughout neighborhoods and communities because we are not waiting for people to come get jobs. We'll bring the jobs to you. We made our community college free because we don't want any excuses for anyone who wants to get a college degree. Because in this city, you can get one for free. Baltimore City Community College welcomed over 500 of our young people from our public school system for free. And Coppin State University said if you finish Baltimore City Community College free, you can come there for free. And Johns Hopkins University and Morgan State University all have opportunities for young people to attend. But we know that there are a number of returning citizens coming back to our city every single year, 10,000 to be exact. And so we have agreements with University of Maryland and Johns Hopkins University and our own city to help those individuals stand up to be able to live productive lives in our communities. And so again, we acknowledge the number of individuals who have succumbed to gun violence in our city. And I thank you all for taking time to be with us to share in the pain of so many who are suffering in our city. With that, let me bring up to the microphone our president of the city council, Jack Young, who will acknowledge our other city council persons who have joined us. God bless you all. Thank you for being here. Thank you, uh, Madam Mayor. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, first, I'd like to acknowledge um, the council members who have joined me today. We have Councilman Brandon Scott, Councilman Chris Burnett, Councilman um, John Bullock, Councilman Robert Stokes, any other council members? And I want to acknowledge each and every one of you who came out tonight uh, to 
pay respects to the 304 citizens of Baltimore who have lost their lives to violence. Um, I could just as well be sitting out there. I lost uh, three of my own nephews to gun violence in the last three years. And until we all get closure, the pain still lingers on. Even after we get closure, the pain lingers on. But um, I like to say to all of you out there, we all have relatives that's doing bad things in our community, and we need to sit down and talk to them, and let them know it's a better way. I mean, we all have them in our family, probably have some in mind as well, that we need to reach out to, and let them know that gun violence is not the answer, but mediation and talking things through is the answer. We talk about the census and how we're losing population. I started adding up the number of murders. And that's one thing that's killing our population in the city. If you look at the homicides, you look at the opioid deaths and other deaths that's associated with drugs, and we lose almost a thousand or more people, maybe more a year, just with those three things alone. So all I'm saying is, we as the relatives and citizens of Baltimore, there's 98% of us doing all the right things, but yet we let 2% dictate how we're gonna live every day. Our children can't play in their own neighborhoods for the fear of gun violence, and we can fix it. It takes all of us. Elected leaders can't do it by ourselves. We need each and every one of you to be a part of the solution. People can quickly criticize. But my question is, what are you doing to make the city a better place? So again, I just want to thank all of you who came out to just mourn your loved ones. And just to let you know that we are with you, I'm with you, because I still feel the pain of my three nephews. God bless you. We'll hear from our Deputy Police Commissioner Bonaparte. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of Interim Commissioner Gary Tuggle, we extend a good evening to everyone here. We want to say from the Baltimore Police Department that we are sincerely um, disturbed by the amount of violence that the city has occurred, has experienced this year. Um, we have been working hard for the entire year in trying to really combat um, what we're seeing out here in the streets as it relates to gun violence in particular. As the council president also talked about, the opioid epidemic is equally as harmful um, to our community as well. I stand here before you to also let you know that as the council president spoke of, I too have also lost family members to violence in this city. And I certainly empathize with everyone here in the room who had to go through that ordeal, and we know how painful that is. So I just want to just let everyone here know that as a community, as the Baltimore Police Department in partnership and under the leadership of Mayor Pugh, that we are committed to driving down the violence in this city. Just want to thank everyone for showing up again this evening, and God bless you all. Thank you. And now we'll hear from our local group. Uh, this is a song they made themselves, Beats Not Bullets. Let's give them a big round of applause, you all. Welcome them to the stage. These are our young people, young people in our city and they're trying to send a message. So we're ready to receive your message.
Just trying to make it home. This I said, a lot of people be kept. Folks talk about Jen, and hey, now they give me a million. Folks say you need to fail. Fail, that's my Jen. Stand up to the sin. Gotta get any reason, hey. Folks change up the seats, hey. I gotta elevate, probably better sing. Put the head, folks so high, probably strain it. Uh, keep talking about the same thing, and I'm working hard, no complaining. All good is big dreaming. All good is big dreaming, yeah. Put the gun down, no more shooting. People don't want no more violence. Let's come together as a movement. Put the guns down, no shooting. What's going on with the city? For one, no, got so much hatred. And is y'all crazy? Tell me why y'all out here killing babies. New face on murder, ain't getting that's just on the day. I pray to God, the people that I love me. I'm just trying to make it home. My mind said to myself, I move on my own. All right, let's give our young people another big round of applause. That's our Baltimore City talent. Thank you so much. And now we'll begin with our faith leaders. Rabbi Elisa Sachs Cohen will begin with spiritual words. In the Jewish tradition, our prayer for healing begins this way. May the one who has brought blessings to our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bring blessings for our world and for our city today as well. Blessings of healing and wholeness, blessings of peace and of hope. We pray that those whose lives have been cut short by violence will find comfort and peace tachat kantfe ha in God's sheltering presence. We pray that the loved ones they have left, the mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, sons and daughters, will find their way through the grief, the pain, the anger of their loss. We pray that those who have experienced violence and survived will find healing and wholeness. We pray that whole communities devastated by violence will find wholeness and healing. Mishiberach avotenu v'imotenu, O source of goodness who brought blessings to our ancestors, we pray for you to bring us blessings. But we know that we cannot sit back and wait for you to bring them. We must be the agents of healing and hope for our own city. So tonight we pray, give us strength and courage to face and to fix the roots of so much of the violence that plagues our city. Poverty and disenfranchisement, addiction, racism. Give us the wisdom to seek long-term solutions and not quick fixes. Give us the fortitude to direct our resources toward helping and not just punishing, uplifting and not just condemning. Mishaberach avotenu v'imotenu, or source of goodness, who brought blessings to our ancestors, with your help and our hard work, may peace, hope, and healing come to our city, our country, our world. Amen. Faith leader Iman Hassan Amin. Allah says in the Quran, which is the last revelation sent to mankind, and I'm going to paraphrase it. And he said, anyone that takes the life of an individual is as if they killed all of mankind. 
and anyone that saves the life of an individual as if they, is as if they saved the life of all of mankind. Our Lord, we pray that you bring comfort and ease to the families who lost love, loved ones to the violence on the streets of the great city of Baltimore. Please strengthen the families negatively impacted by violence by comforting their hearts and supporting them on days when they can't even get up out of bed. Our Lord, place in those who have murdered or think of murdering an individual an overwhelming sense of guilt and not wanting to dishonor and shame their families. Also, our Lord, those who have murdered another, inspire them to turn themselves in now before they meet you later and end up burning in the flaming fire of hell for murder, which is a sin. Our Lord, you say when we ask, ask of you, and when we seek help, seek help from you. We are now asking you to help us by protecting Baltimore City from the ever-increasing violence on our street. Today we ask that you take us out of the darkness of despair and place us into the light of hope for a better tomorrow. Let the healing of Baltimore City begin now. Bestow on us a sense of calm and well-being never felt before. Bestow upon us kindness and caring of others. Let the great city of Baltimore be known for having the highest rate of saving lives and not taking lives. I mean. Amen. Faith leader, Pastor Terry Moore. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, our hearts are heavy tonight. You say in your word that you heal the brokenhearted and you bind up their wounds. So Lord, please give those who are suffering the loss of a loved one tonight the assurance that you stand with them as you are close to the brokenhearted. We ask, Lord God, for your consolation, your comfort. Comfort us in the abundance of our grief that we may seem to be able to bear it. Let us know that we can cast all of our cares upon you because you care for us. Let us not be quick to seek justice by our own hands or by our own means. Let not another mother's child be quick to shed blood in this city. You said that vengeance is yours. Let us trust in you that you will repay by allowing you to avenge and deal with the perpetrators according to your divine justice. Allow each one to transfer their demand for justice into your hands in an act of forgiveness. Grant each victim's family supernatural peace that only you can give in Jesus' name and as you do bring peace to our streets the type of peace that flows like a river from north to south and from east to west let peace that surpasses all of our understanding flow let peace that only you can give come like a tsunami that engulfs us in an instant Oh, many of us are angry with you, oh God, as we question how could a good God allow such evil to take place on your watch? Remove anger and bitterness far from us and give us hearts to repent even for questioning your goodness. Give us the faith to believe that you can turn what the devil meant for evil into something good, into something beautiful. Give us the ability to look inward as a people, as people of faith, and ask you to show us not where you have failed us, but where we have failed you and where we have failed each other by allowing the darkness to creep in under our watch and to choke out your light. 
Give us the ability to reclaim our authority over the principalities, over the powers, over the rulers of darkness, over the spiritual wickedness in high places. To Heavenly Father, God of mercy and God of love, we pray that you would make our city a safe place that all the plans of the enemy to do otherwise would be confounded and brought to naught. Cover us with your wings of protection as you dispatch the heavenly host of angels to keep guard over this city. Let evil be far from our dwellings. Let every murderous spirit working in the shadows, behind the scenes, in the dark and in the background be terminated. We command that demonic sanctions and embargoes against the work of your hands be permanently suspended in this city. Let every adversary resisting, opposing, and hindering this fair city be disinherited and stripped of all their weapons and relinquished of all their powers. Give us the ability as people to call those things that are not as, they, as though they were and so tonight according to the power of your promises. We call Baltimore a, a holy city, a city that's set aside for renewal, for revival, for restoration, and for re restitution, amen? And we thank you that the fire of our love for you and love for our fellow man is being rekindled in our hearts this very night. In the name of our Savior, our Prince of Peace, the man of sorrows, and the one who is touched with the very feelings of our infirmities. In the name of the mighty conqueror who conquered sin and death, that each of us might have a right to the tree of life, we do pray, amen, amen. Faith leader, faith leader, Pastor Angel Niguan. Good evening. As the mayor spoke, I was uh, reminded of 2002, where my own brother was shot and killed in front of me. And then the gunman turned the gun on me and tried to take my own life. As you can see, he failed because God had a call on my life. As he has a call for everyone that has ever been created. Every youth in this city has been created with a purpose, a divine purpose. The enemy will not succeed. For those are here, a remnant that are praying coming together and putting aside our differences. I want to pray, not just for the victims, not just for the survivors, but for the children that are to come, that are seeing what's happening in our city. We need a holy fire city of Baltimore. This city burned several years ago, but if I may take just a few moments to pray, because I believe a holy fire is coming upon the city of Baltimore to awaken what seems to be dead in the spirit of those that are in this city. So if I may, let us pray. Dear Father, you are the potter and we are the clay. Every position that has been given from the president on down has been given to you divinely, O oh God. Before there was time, you had it written in the books of what would be. Whether we choose to accept it or not, it is what it is. So we present to you our city, O oh Lord, as the potter and as the clay. We ask you for help in our city, O oh God. Awaken that which seems to be dead in the spirit of the humanity in this city. There is something great in Baltimore, and it is inside of Baltimore that it will be resurrected. Awaken a holy fire, O oh God. Awaken what seems to be sleeping, O oh God. Start with your church, O oh God. Awaken your church. Not just a partial awakening, but a full awakening of what needs to be done. Let the meetings in the quiet places go out into the streets, O oh God. Let all those things that seem that cannot be resolved, O oh God. 
bring the church to the street bring the leaders to the street the city is crying for help the children are crying for help they're crying out to God and they're waiting for a response I pray oh God that as we enter into 2019 that we the leaders of the city we the church of this city we the spiritual authority we that have been given the ability to do something in the city awaken oh God and respond to the cry of the children of this city I present it to you father because you are good you appointed all those that are in that position help us strengthen us give us wisdom to do what we have been called divinely to do I present this to you father in the name of the father the son and of the Holy Spirit amen Faith leader, Pastor Donald Wright. Let us pray. If ever there was a time we needed the Lord before, we sure do need you now. God, it's in your name that we come on this night, God. We come with heavy hearts, with broken hearts. God, even with bowed down heads, God, but even in this, we've come to tell you thank you. God, because we understand in your word in the book of Psalm that the word of God says that you are very present help in the time of trouble. And so God, tonight, while we're hurting and while we don't have all the answers, God, we acknowledge that you are still in control. And so God, tonight, we pray right now, God, that you would touch our city in a very special way. God, that you would bless every person that walks up and down the streets of our fair city, God. And I pray right now, God, that, that you would heal our city. God, heal where there is brokenness. God, heal where there is pain. God, heal, God, where there is violence. God, I believe that you're able to do it. And God, I pray right now, God, that, that you would bind up the hand of the enemy that you would bind up the hand of the wicked one, God, that seeks to steal, kill, and destroy the lives of the people that live in Baltimore. And God, I pray that you would loose your peace. God, that you would loose your prosperity. God, that you would loose your joy. God, that this would be a city, God, that would please you. And God, I pray right now, God, that you would continue, God, to, to raise up young people that would be leaders in our city. Not, God, that they would be criminals, not that they would commit violence, but, God, I pray right now, God, for, for leaders and for opportunities, God, that your people may be able to serve you. And, God, I pray that you would, would lose service in our communities, God, that where there is lack, I pray right now, God, that you would meet every need. Your word declares, God, that, you can, that you're able to supply every need. And, God, I pray right now, God, that you would do exactly what you can. God, I thank you for, for this city. I thank you for every young person. And God, I thank you for, for the families of persons that have been killed in our city. God, I pray that you would be with every family, every loved one, every community member. And God, that you would continue to grant unto us your peace. Peace that passes all understanding. In your name we pray, amen. Bishop Nunez, a couple of days ago, I was sitting under the Christmas tree unwrapping Christmas gifts, eating with my family, enjoying a wonderful time together. But I could not stay there at the dinner table enjoying my Christmas when there are so many broken lives all around us. That is why today we pushed aside the Christmas dinner meal and we've come here supporting our mayor and our leaders in praying for the hurting, the broken, the rejected in our city. When we leave this place, please do not forget that they're not just names on a screen. They're not just families that we can mention for a moment and walk away. 
These are people that need to be loved unconditionally. And most of all, we need to pray that we will break this cycle of 300 plus murders in our city. We will break it in 2019. And I wish I had a witness in this house. Thank you. Bishop Nunez, I could feel you behind me and I could feel your spirit. So I knew you had some words that you wanted to share with us. So thank you for that. We will now begin the reading of the names of those lives that have been lost in our city to violence. Barry Henderson, 26. Juan Henderson, 47. Herman White, 51. Marco Bird, 26. Duran Johnson, 27. Geraldo Freeman, 26. Travis Wallace, 32. Sean Dyer, 34. Makia Dyer, 29. Quintez Harris, 26. Darren McCallum, 24. Shaquana Caldwell, 26. Philip Williams, Jr., 51. Anthony Kenny, 39. Raymond Wyatt, 42. Vashon Conyers, 30. Jarrell Bryce, 27. Sadik Griffin, 22. John Towns, Jr., 56. Maurice Knight, 38. Shamar Poole, 38. Deshaun Ivory, 35. Devontae Rhodes, 19. Montrell Rivers, 20. Ronald Preston, 30. Danta Holmes, 39. Charles Wiggins, 60. Charles Tate, 21. George Hill, 58. Dion Garner, 26. Andre Galloway, 16. Brian Taylor, 30. Robert Moore, 50. Michael Rogers, 31. Calvin Phillips, 22. Daniel Williams the third, 21. Tavon Harrington, 19. Eric Stanton, 46. Cabrea Coleman, 24. Donnell Candy Jr., 29. Sean Shua, 22. Andrea Tamaris, 47. Dorian Cook, 32. Jawan Eskridge, 20. Tyrone Manning, 32. Jasmine Chandler, 28. Baby Robinson, zero. Sharif Washington, 41. Paul Jackson, 33. Tyrell Kimbo, 25. Damon Hall, 38. Ricky Jones, 40. Dante Stuckey, 28. Craig McCoy, 32. Defna Powell, 46. Derek Johnson, 52. Ohiji Parker, 21. Imani Marshall, 19. Rudolph Pritchett, 42. Endora Henderson, 0. DeAndre Brown, 23. Shanetta Neal, 43. Justin Allen, 22. Andre Martin, 43. Mohammed Amara, 28. Trayvon Miles, 38. Marquise Johnson, 28. Carlos Chase, 27. Dominique Smith, 27. Damian Deridge, 33. Michael 
Molina, 43, Antonio Jones, 48, Damon Perry, Pearly, 18, Antonio Johnson, 35, Milton Johnson, 31, Michael Farrington, 29, Jermaine Cornish, 27, Antonio Emmons Jr., 29, Reznor White, 39, Damon Baylor, 41, and my nephew was Diamante, was Deontre Brown, 27. Donnell Fleming, 29. Elizabeth Holland, 68. Michael Johnson, 25. Quavon Johnson, 24. Dwayne Cheeks, 38. Craig McDonald, Jr., 34. Allison Hen, 30. Kataya Nelson, 29. Jasmine Pierce Morris, 20. Cameron Anderson, 17. John Lynch, 39. Walter Baines, 30. Jamal Hinton, 33. Joseas Diaz Ortiz, 26. Demonte Howard, 19. Gilbert White, 38. Shaka Butcher, 29. Devontae Tripp, 25. Kevin Mason, 39. And Gilbert Bates, 30. John Brown, 19. Shahantana Williams, 20. Marquise Patterson, 21. Pinky Ruffin, 65. Gerard Watson, 24. Clyde Burrell, 66. Rona Brand, 54. Randy Mayfield, 23. Ryan Dorsey, 36. Davon Gross, 31. Emmanuel Cruz, 38. Jeremias Morales, 42. Davon Davis, 21. Jeffrey Shields, 18. Marquise Jackson Lynch, 19. Stefan Gabriel, 27. Joshua Besick, 28. Lamont Hatcher, 25. Ricky Williams, 36. Keith Hamlet, 58. Brian McKemmy, 27. Treston Alton, 23. Shantae Alexander, 43. Raynard Pratt, 37. Joey Boyd, 29. Jamal Jacobs, 28. Lavon Jones McKamey, 29. Colin Gardner Jr., 54. Nicholas Maltby, 26. Christopher Brown, 57. Pierre Jones, 30. Dorothy Neal, 83. Carlos Bridges, 26. Marvin Johnson, 54. Michael Brown, 26. Bobby Mack, 24. Demetri Jones, 21. Shawana Davis, 26. Gregory Kaysan, 42. Nigel Dismal, 41. Arlie Granados, 30. Brandy Featherstone, 24. Khalil Austin, 18. Derek Garrison, 19. Ja Miles, 40. Russell Funnypin, 21. Reginald Coles, 25. Reginald Scriber, 40. Jamal Linton, 26. Christian White, 23. Oliver Santos, 17. Andre Wims, 55. Jared Williams, 34. Anthony Rayner, Rayner, 34. Justin Williams Harrison, 29. Liam, Leon Burgress, 
33. Kedrick Moore, 36. Jonathan Greenwich, 26. Timothy Maricona, only 19. Beyonce Ellis, 17 years old. Jason Haynes, 41. Fanny Flores Machado, 28. Lawrence Price the third, 73. Andrew Allen, 18. Harry Recklin, 53. Juan Robinson, 54. Terrence Walker, 39. Braylon Ford, zero. George Phillip, 19. Keishante Hines, 24. Gerald Grady Jr., 27. Maurice Hill, 32. Carell Belton, 29. John T. Lee Sr., 29. Alvin Howard, 52. Anton Hargrove, 19. Trayvon Reed, 26. Aaron Long, 21. Matthew Fenderson, 28. And Preston Merritt, 59. Albert Bradley, the four, 29. Tracy Whiten, 34. Antoine Green, 39. Laverne Smalls, 29. Brendan Michaels, 43. Darrell Yancey, 25. Donye Holbrook, 23. Antoine Carter, 38. Adam Taylor, 57. Daniel Williams, 37. Michael Smith, 41. Vaughn Green, 24. James Williams, 52. Michael Gathers, 37. John Johnson, 45. Tiffany Jones, 29. Jarrell Shaw, 31. Darrell Jackson, 34. Marcus Brown, 18. Antoine Nelson, 25. Lawrence Shields, Jr., 25. Michael Duncan, Jr., 44. Thomas Hamilton, 27. Abduli Jallo, 24. Randall Finney, Jr., 32. Donald Jackson, 46. Darrell Williamson, 27. Philip Holloway, 30. Garfield Leon, Jr., 30. Travis Argard, 41. Nakia Pearson, 26. William Kasem, 28. Jermaine Johnson, 38. Garnell Fulton, 39. Martin Gamble, 35. Alexandra Anderson, 49. Mafid Hussein, 61. Tyron Dansbury, 38. Howard Gibson, Jr., 40 and Walter Page, Jr., 48. Antoine Enos, 27. Dominic Gant, 24. Lionel Nasa, 28. DeAndre Brown, 27. Enrique Parker, 48. Gene Michael, 28. Kevin Jones, 41. Lamont Crawford, 38. Leonard Shelley, 33. Montrell Mozan, 13. Jacqueline Smith, 54. Devontae Friedman, 18. Desmond Anderson, 18. Anthony Grant, Jr., 17. Maisha Nelson, 20. 
Davon Austin, 28, Mark Pierce, Jr., 23, Edward Calloway, 32, Albertus Nelson, 58, and James McFadden, Jr., 47. Taylor Hayes, seven. Zaray Gray, one. Anthony Smith, 25. Christopher Burdett, 48. Yurik Hall, 35. Jamal Ross, 28. Markel Wall, 23. Rashard Queen, 20. Jeffrey Cole, Jr., 33. Xavier Charles, 28. Michael Handy, Jr., 17. Terrell Singleton, 46. Ebony Moore, 25. Daniel Battle, 41. Antonio Wright, 27. Musa Jaber, 64. Tyrell Davis, 25. Garnett Kennedy Jr., 24. Antonio Jackson Jr., 30. God rest the dead. Ronald Bingham, 25. Davon Young, 25. Marcus Montford, 27. Gloria Johnson, 70. Antoine Armand Hall, 31. Darius Mason, 21. Kendall Jones, 27. Antonio Segorius, 37. Randolph Cockrell, 67. Antoine Tillman, 24. Wayne McCants, 32. Joey Roscoe, 38. Omari Forrester, 31. Erwin Johnson, 33. Nico Chase, 46. Tariq Jackson Bay, 33. Dave Day, 47. Stephen McKnight, 27. Otis Knight, 40. Jawan Kimball, 18. Terry Henderson, 27. Montel Ingram, 29. Jeremiah Harper, 21. Wilbert Epps, 37. Keith Hamlin, 27. John Doe, unknown. Kurt Cornish, 41. Mark Gross, 24. Ulysses Brown, 52. Guy Coffey, 28. James King II, 16. D'Amico Baldwin, 38. Terrence Scott, 38. Kennard Butler, 26, Ray Glasgow, 17, Aaron Paul Meese, 23, Tamal Harris, 21, William Mortimer Jr., 74, Jordan DeShields, 16, Arnold Patterson, 49, Juan Pinckney, 1. Rodney Beeman, Jr., 32. Mayron Minja, 50. William Barnes, 53. Marquis Richardson, 30. I'm going to have our choir come back to the stage, the Singing Sensations Youth Choir, and I'm going to have them close us out. 
But before I leave the mic, I want to remind us that we must teach each other to love and respect one another. Because as has been said, we want to break this cycle of violence that has gripped our city. And remember that love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. God bless all.